Although, strictly speaking, an electronic current flows from the negative terminal of the battery through the circuit and then goes back to the battery through the positive terminal. For the sake of convenience in the description of the circuit, I will assume that direct current goes from positive to negative. That being said, I will say that the AC current enters the primary winding of the transformer through the 10 amp fuse F1. Approximately 12 volts of AC current comes out of the secondary winding of the transformer and are rectified by the diode bridge DB. From the positive output of the diode bridge, the pulsating DC goes through the SCR1 silicon control rectifier into its anode and out from its cathode and goes on to the positive terminal of the battery being charged. SCR1 control rectifier is in conduction mode because its gate is receiving positive DC pulses from the cathodes of diodes D1 and D2, which trigger SCR1. Diodes D1 and D2 are needed to prevent the DC voltage coming from the battery, which is continuous DC, from reaching the anode of SCR2 control rectifier, and thus being unable to turn off. It should be off when the battery is being charged. The battery negative terminal is, of course, connected to the negative terminal of the diode bridge. Throughout the charging process, the combination of resistor R1 and light emitting diode LED2 will be receiving voltage from the diode bridge and this light emitting diode acts as a power on indicator for the charger. As the battery is being charged, the voltage across its positive and negative terminal goes up. A sample of the battery voltage goes through resistor R5, preset potentiometer R6, and resistor R8. These three components act as a voltage divider in the middle of which is the potentiometer to preset the desired maximum voltage. Hooked to the potentiometer cursor is a resistor R7 which carries this variable voltage to SCR2 gate through the series formed by an 8 volt Zener diode and resistor R7. If this voltage has risen enough to trip SCR2 and it pulls down the pulsating voltage at SCR1 gate, whereby the battery is floated by a small current limited by resistor R2 and as long as the battery stays at floating voltage, the current supplied by the charger is limited by resistor R2. When this happens, a voltage the voltage drop of about 5 volts is fed to resistor R3 in series with light emitting diode LED1, which will act as a full charge indicator. In other words, when the battery is in the process of being charged, only green LED2 lights up, and when the charge has been completed, LED2 remains on and also LED1 lights up and begins to flash, according to battery voltage variations. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao Tarin.